Hi, my name is Adwe. And my name is Aditya. Today we are going to do our experiment regarding potential and kinetic energy. For this experiment, you need a lamp, a car, and a toy animal. A mini sized toy animal. A frog would do. So, the main point here is that this animal, whatever it is, should occupy more surface space than this car. car. So, your chance. Just continue. <laughs> so, anyway. If, if I put a car here and then I flick at it, it goes very slowly since there is no potential. There is almost no potential there, energy. No, there is no potential energy. Yes, there is no potential energy. It only has kinetic energy. But if I use a slope, it has both potential and kinetic energy. That potential energy that is stored here changes into kinetic energy as it moves down the slope. So basically, potential energy is a energy objects have based on the virtue of their position. Kinetic energy is when sometimes potential energy is changed into the type of energy when it moves down a slope or something else. And sometimes there are things that where the potential energy isn't there but kinetic energy is there. Like when I try like, to flick this car, there is no potential energy but there is kinetic energy when it moves. So, now that you know that, let's start this experiment. See, if I don't flick at it at all, it will not move. But what if I added some slope? It, it will move. New because the potential energy is being converted into the kinetic, kinetic energy. energy. Now, you might be wondering, why have we brought this little friend of ours here? <laughs> okay, so what if I put it as a slope here, completely here? Oh, it just falls. Because, and now what if I do a bit tilt? See, uh, and the greater the force is, the, the more impact it would be on a thing that is stopping it. For example, if I try to flick this car, nothing happens to my hand. But, if, but, when I try to let this car loose through the slope, uh, then will hurt the impact it. that is created by the when that the impact that is created by the sudden stop of the car will it's hurt a bit. Will hurt a bit. Exactly. Now, what if why why have you brought a mini friend here? Let's see. Hello. Today I let me tell you about how not only cars but other things can be you can have potential energy too. Let's start. I'll probably slope it up a bit. See. Yeah, let's we'll just... turn this frog upside down like it's dead. <laughs> and see. Wow, that is so fun. Can you do it again? Yeah, sure. We'll try. Yeah. As you can see, she it takes a bit stop. time. No, oh, why is it going? And uh, by the time, and you have to tilt the slope uh, uh, almost like more. this to make it move. This is because it, uh, it has more surface space. Surface space. Surface uh, space. Space and therefore requires much greater gravity. Tilt. 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 Gravity, tilt. gravity to move. To move. Okay. So and one more thing. For example, if this object is going down like this, for example, fast motion. The point just before the impact will have the highest kinetic energy present in it. So, we can say that the, the car just before the point, just before the impact will have the highest kinetic energy in it. Okay, so this friend of ours too, it, can, uh, it will take much longer time because it's much wider and therefore might be stuck in the between of the track. So this is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video with your friend. <laughs> and if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is click on that red button with your surprise word written on it. Until the next video.